Yay. Yay. Okay. And now I'm going to go live to Facebook. Oh, um, uh, Nicole and Alicia, do you know um, which organization do you want to play for? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm ready. Uh, do you want me to tell you now? Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll just ask you when we. Okay. Um... Oh, my cat's meowing at the door. Oh. <laughs> uh, play. I still like, oh, this movie is 20 years old. What? I know, it's weird. It's weird. I saw it in theaters. Oh, I guess I definitely saw it in theaters. Yeah, I did. I mean, I was young still, but I still saw it in theaters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is the accent. Oof. Oh, it says recording. Is it live though? No. Okay. Um, it'll be live. So we are recording. So this yeah. is like the fun part when people watch it on YouTube and they're like, oh, look at everyone just chilling out before it starts. <laughs> um, Looking beautiful. Yeah. I think there's only yes. one. <laughs> We're all like fixing your hair. We look great. We do. Oh, it's live. It's live. Yay. I'll stop doing that now. Okay. Uh, so hello and welcome to this week's Adult Spelling Bee, which is to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the movie Heartbreakers, which if you don't know, is kind of an amazing movie about two women conning rich people. And honestly, what could be better in this day and age, to be fair? Um, yes, if you're, if you're new to watching the Adult Spelling Bee, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Uh, every week we do a different theme, different players, and this week's theme is Heartbreakers. Everyone playing picks an organization that they want to uh, contribute money to, and I will do so for the winner at the end of the game. Um, Greg, our first word for tonight that I looked up, because this is a word I wanted to learn how to spell, was guileful, G-U-I-L-E-F-U-L. It's an adjective and it means having or showing sly or cunning intelligence. So our two lead actresses on the show are guileful. Um, and Greg Magoon, my co-judge tonight, is also a huge fan of this movie. Um, Greg, aside from Jennifer Love and Sigourney Weaver, who's your favorite character? Oh, goodness. Aside from those two, hmm. Hmm. Uh, Sarah Silverman. No, um, I would probably go with, you know, I really love Jason Lee in this movie. I do. Like, <laughs> he's so earnest and he makes a good effort. And there's something about him that, like, in this movie, that type of character could have gone drastically wrong. But you still kind of sympathize with him. And he's actually quite patient with her, despite her being a little off the wall given the circumstance. So I kind of give his credit, like his character, a lot of credit for, especially for when this movie came out, when a lot of guy characters are much more brash or just aggressive or less patient, or even like, even his like earnest patience in this movie still seems genuine when sometimes it can come off as smarmy and he doesn't do that. So that's why I'm going to give a shout out to Jason Lee in this movie. <laughs> I like that. I like that. He seems sort of um, hapless. I mean, he is like hapless in general yeah. most of the movie, but he also has these moments where you're like, he's he's not like dumb. He's you no. Know, um, or also when he kind of gives it back to her when she says, "You're not out here burying teenagers in the woods, right?" And he's like, "Well, they did egg my car," and then just like walks <laughs> off, and you're like, "Whoa, okay." <laughs> yeah. He's intrigued with the character, and honestly, I would be too. And when I was rewatching it with Danielle, I was like. I would be interested in the same way. I would wonder what her deal is. Yeah. So I kind of get where his curiosity grew. It's just the time span of the movie is when you start raising questions going, how long does this take place in? Um, other than that, it's actually quite believable, the setup and the curiosity and the dynamic. Yes. I support I it. I like that. OK, good choice. Um, playing tonight are four other fans of the movie, and starting with Mandy yeah. Harris, uh, who is a children's librarian who is also the loudest person in the library. She never <laughs> shushes, but she has been shushed more than once. 
Uh, <laughs> and, uh, Mandy's playing for the Idaho Indigenous Alliance. Um, oh, hold on. We have a special guest popping in for just a moment. Hello. Hello. Come over here. This is my mother. <laughs> yes, Fran's here. Do we, do we look like we arrived in the convertible? <laughs> yeah. Just arrived, Palm Beach. Palm Beach. Oh, she's in Palm Beach. Welcome. I'm at the hotel already, as you can see. <laughs> Greg, hi, Greg. Greg. Hello. I can't believe you wore the gray shirt. I distinctly said the blue one. <laughs> it works, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we're gonna let Fran go go back to sleep because, after all, uh, mothers are just my bedtime. <laughs> nice. Bye, Fran. Bye, Fran. <laughs> Bye, Fran. Thanks for stopping by. I love the little outfit. I know. <laughs> I mean, it might as well have been Sigourney Weaver because like twinning right there. She's like, she just like doesn't know how to get herself in frame on stuff. That's, you just saw a glimpse of what it's like to FaceTime with her. Like she'll be like, she'll, she'll FaceTime she'll me like, can you, can you see me? Can you see me? Hello? Hello? <laughs> so. Yeah. I really wanted to have her say the gray shirt thing to Greg. So he's like, I'll wear a gray shirt tonight. <laughs> I was, gonna try. I was gonna make it a little bit more low cut, but I couldn't do that. So I just did a cut off the the, the alternative style. Uh, but Mandy, sorry, I got interrupted. You are playing tonight for the Idaho Indigenous Alliance. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, it's an organization that supports indigenous needs and causes here in Idaho. So it supports the people on whose land I live on. Amazing. Nice. Love that. Awesome. Okay. Nicole Tersini, who is the author of the book Men to Avoid in Art and Life. Actually, I think you could have been a character in this movie <laughs> selling your book. <laughs> selling my wares. Yeah, that'd be great. A lot of men to avoid in that movie. <laughs> yes. Gene Hackman in particular. <laughs> what a character that guy is, right? Oh, he oh was a God. charmer. He's a charmer. Oh my God. I just watched it last night and I was like, I do not remember Dean Hagman being so gross. <laughs> <laughs> we were just saying before we started, uh, when Jess, Jess and Mandy were the first two in uh, before you all joined, and we were talking about how everyone in the movie seems to be having such a good time, but was anyone having as good of a time as Gene Hackman was? <laughs> I don't think so. Like, what a fun character to play. <laughs> it's true. Uh, and anyone who said anything he didn't like and he'd be like Nazi yeah. <laughs> I know oh, at the gallery yeah, it's 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 a cigarette. oh I'm sorry <laughs> Nazi <laughs> uh, I know this movie is also a smoking commercial which is kind of <laughs> funny which wouldn't play today 20 years later so <laughs> every much character smoking, smoking especially so Jennifer Love Hewitt smoking mm -hmm. yeah I, I thought it was funny that it's like a really that's how she uses her like sex appeal in the beginning a lot and I was like, yeah. oh, I don't know if that would land the same. I mean, yeah. men are dumb, so probably, but like, yeah. uh, it's just like not sexy to me. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, I she looks that, great, but. I read okay. that too, that Jennifer Love in real life hates smoking, like does it, oh. yeah. And when I, so I was thinking about that when I watched it again, and I realized she really doesn't inhale when she's, mm -hmm. um, when she is smoking in most of her scenes, mm -hmm. she literally just doesn't inhale. And I'm like, oh, okay. So that's probably how she, put up with so many takes of smoking cigarettes. Mm -hmm. um, although Gene Hackman looks to be enjoying himself. <laughs> very much. So much fun. Yeah. <laughs> One right after the other. <laughs> the nine-year-old, uh, and he talked about testing the smoking on the nine-year-olds and they loved it because you're only <laughs> After a little bit of puking, they were five. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Oh my God. Uh, Nicole, so who are you playing for tonight? I'm going to play for an organization called Forgotten Harvest. Um, and they are a food rescue organization. So they take food that would otherwise go to waste and they get it to charities and people who need it. So Amazing. it's pretty cool. Love it. And uh, Jess Thulmer, 
who is playing tonight for Northwest Abortion Access Funds, to no surprise, because you do such great work. Um, <laughs> abortion, safe abortion access. Um, she's also a freelance writer who works for a nonprofit in Seattle and has one of the best book recommendation newsletters around. And I'm a big fan mm. of the questions you ask on Instagram. They are super fun. Oh, thanks. <laughs> And uh, let's see, Alicia Thompson, who is another newbie player tonight, who's a writer of all things romance. Although I think I love your Twitter bio where you're like writing usually about kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs it up. <laughs> Which fits for our theme tonight, because uh, there's a lot of kissing uh, in this movie. Oh, uh, Alicia, who are you playing for tonight? I'm playing for the Trevor Project. Oh, love it. That's great. Awesome. Great choice. Okay, so before we start round one, here are the rules. Uh, Greg and I will each give you a word, one at a time. Uh, we'll give you the definition and a sample sentence if you so uh, request, but we would love to do so because we will be doing it in the form of some dialogue from Heartbreaker. So I'll be doing a little acting for you. Uh, <laughs> each correctly spelled word gets you one point and there will be no eliminations in this round. So no stress about that. And is everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So we will go in alphabetical order and we'll start with Mandy. Our, our librarian's going to go first. Mm -hmm. And Mandy, your first word is economize. It's a verb. It means spend less, reduce one's expenses. Economize. Would you like to hear that in a scene? I would love to hear that in a scene. <laughs> Okay. All right, Greg, here I go. Here's the last of our cash. 1,150, 1,170, 1,190. That's 1,300 each. Wow, have a nice life with that, princess. I'll economize. Sure, you can do your own hair, your own nails. They actually have some great shoes at Walmart. Doug, all right, one more con, but only if we do it right. What does that mean? It means no more of the small time crap. It has to be big. One big final score to pay the IR pay off the IRS and set me up on my own. What are you talking about? Palm Beach. Palm Beach? Forget it. People that rich are already suspicious. It's too hard to play. Palm Beach or nothing. Wow. And once again, your word is economize. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> E-C-O-N-O-M-I-Z-E. -E. Correct. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Next, everyone had, almost everyone has a T last name tonight, except for Mandy. <laughs> so, Nicole, you are up next, and Greg will give you your word. Great. <laughs> Sorry. Nicole. All right. Are you, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Your word is antichrist. 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 Can I get that in a sentence, please? Absolutely. Yeah, Are you, you. ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Hi, can I get you a drink? Wow, I've never heard that one before. Really blow me away with your creativity. Well, I... Well, I, uh, I... The recovery is even better. Do you even care at all who I am? I mean, I could be the Antichrist or have the intelligence of a thermos, but unfortunately those are not the matters the male penis ponders. So please tell me, why did you walk all the way over here to ask to get me a drink? Well, because I'm the bartender. <laughs> no, martini, very dry. Okay, and scene. So your <laughs> word again is antichrist. Antichrist, okay. A-N-T-I. C-H-R-I-S-T. Correct. <laughs> okay. I love that exchange so much between them. <laughs> I know. She's like so high on herself to go off on her own. Yeah. Like almost gets into a car accident before when she first drives. Then she gets there and makes an ass of herself. <laughs> the bartender. So embarrassing. And the night uh, just keeps going worse. I was going to say it just escalates quickly. It's yeah. yeah. It's terrible. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, next up we have Jess. And Jess, your word is retina. 
Denoun means the layer at the back of the eyeball containing cells that are sensitive to light and that trigger nerve impulses that pass via the optic nerve to the brain where a visual image is formed. Retina. Wow. Um, may I please have that in a scene? Sure. Thanks. Get away. I told you it was dangerous to come to these low class bars. I retina now it's um r-e-t-i-n-a retina okay <laughs> off to a good start okay alicia your turn and greg will give you your word <laughs> all right alicia are you ready yes your word is engorged mm -hmm. verb past tense Cause to swell with blood, water, or another fluid. And would you like that in a sentence? You know, I use this one a lot, but I would still like it in a sentence, please. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. There is nothing sexier than smoke billowing proudly out of a woman's hot, red, engorged nostrils. Engorged. <laughs> okay, uh, engorged. E-N-G-O-R-G-E-D. Correct. Correct. <laughs> and I love that it's such a frequent word in your vocabulary, too. I mean, when you write romance, you know, it, it comes in all the time. <laughs> do, do you always think of that part in um, 10 Things I Hate About You, where she's trying yes. to look for, and, uh, and Julie Stiles walks in, and she's like, to mess it. And she's like, oh. <laughs> like, I really do. And actually, um, unfortunately, that's not a gift you can find. Like, <laughs> Oh, like of all the gifts of that movie, you can't find that one. I've looked for it so many times. Really? I'll try to make it for you. Oh. Thank you. That oh, would be okay. a true service. See, look at that. Yeah. I think I can make that one happen. What's the weirdest way you've used engorged? And now I'm oh. just curious. <laughs> I have no idea. Probably in the way that you would expect. <laughs> okay. Got it. <laughs> not not hot red engorged nostrils though. No, that not honestly, I think that's very creative use of the word. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's very okay. specific, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we are back to Mandy. Mandy, your word is necrophilia. It's a noun. It means sexual intercourse with or attraction towards corpses. Necrophilia. First of all, I knew when I was watching the movie, I'm like, they're going to do engorged. As soon as engorged <laughs> came out, I was like, engorged is going to be one of the words and I hope it's mine, but it was not. But necrophilia is a close second. I would love, I would love a scene. I would love to hear that word. I don't, I don't, I would love that. Yeah. Okay. I'd have to kiss that. Well, I'd have to kiss that way more than you. Maybe you're into necrophilia. All right, necrophilia, N-E-C-R-O-P-H-I-L-I-A, necrophilia? Yeah, killed it, killed it, literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I some dad jokes throughout. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. okay, back to Nicole, and Greg, okay. you are up. All right, Nicole, are you ready for your next word? I'm ready. All right. Cholesterol, noun, an organic molecule. All right, can I hear and it in a, a sentence? Absolutely. Have you any idea what that meat is doing to your arteries? Haven't you heard? Cigarettes dissolve cholesterol. <laughs> cholesterol. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yeah, um, with a... yeah. I know, All I right. have my props. C, C H. If I get it, if I start to get it wrong, you can just cut me right off. Be like, no, that's you don't have to keep trying. Okay, C H O L E S T. <laughs> Still right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> T E R O L. <laughs> Yeah, that was oh my god, is that right? Okay. <laughs> yep. 
So it's awesome. What? I feel like uh, Greg, no, I think Nicole just took a page out of your book with that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's how I usually do it. But like, we're a little bit more generous here. So if you do like do the wrong letter, but you don't officially end it and you can kind of change it back. So okay. sometimes I'll just go like, T I E I E R O S. Yeah. Got it. So Don't be very decisive. Dip, yeah. The less decisive you are, at least for me, it works. <laughs> <laughs> About 50% of the time. Actually, I hear something really funny when we did the first live one in LA. Um, someone who uh, got knocked out um, in an earlier round, because there were so many people playing back then. I think we had like 10 or 11 people. And um, she just sat back down in her seat. And then like, oh, yeah. like two <laughs> rounds, yeah, Greg was there. Like two rounds later, she got up again and all, someone in the audience was like, I thought she, didn't she lose? And she was like, I'm still here, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and she ended up winning. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, didn't you let her win the whole thing? Wow. It was honestly That's the most funny. inspiring thing I've ever heard. Right, the it way she really did was so funny that it just worked, and we were like, I mean, can't can't take it away from her. It's just that was pretty great. So, congratulations, <laughs> Vanessa. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jess, you are up, and your word <laughs> is infatuation. It's a noun. It means an intense but short-lived passion or admiration for someone or something. Infatuation. What a beautiful word. I would love to hear it in, um, uh, in a scene from the movie Heartbreakers, please. <laughs> hey, mom, how'd it go? Perfect. His infatuation is right on schedule. You know you're home now. You can stop with the accent. That was scene. a great Russian accent. For the record. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. Um, infatuation. I N. F-A-T-U-A-T-I-O-N. Correct. Correct. Nice. Woo. Okay. All right. Next, back to Alicia and Greg, you're up. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Your word is skulking. Verb in the present participle. Oh, wait. Yeah. Participle. Keep out of sight typically with a sinister or cowardly motive, move stealthily or fervitively. Skulking. Can I, can I get in a scene, please? Sorry. Absolutely. I followed you. More like stalked me. Listen, mouth breather, I'm fully capable and in the mood to beat the shit out of your psychotic skulking ass. Skulking. <laughs> skulking. S-K-U-L-K-I-N-G. Beautiful. Okay. okay. All right. And we are back to Mandy. Mandy, your last word of round one is professor. The noun means a teacher of the highest rank in a college or university. Professor. Could I get that in a scene? I think you could. Uh, so what is it that you do, Mr. Stagliano? College professor. Oh, oh, uh, what do you teach? College stuff. What are you, a fucking cop? <laughs> okay. My mind went, I was like, can, does it end in an ER or an OR? So I'm just going to go for it, guys. <laughs> go for it. I had this moment of flaking. Okay. P R O F E S S O R? Yes, you got it. Professor. Correct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nice. I can't embarrass myself as a librarian. Yeah. <laughs> that's <true. laughs> See, that's where I would have spent five minutes going E-R-O-R, E-R-O-R, and just kept going until eventually <laughs> I settled on some things. So <laughs> very impressive work there, Mandy. Very <laughs> impressive. Okay, okay. Uh, Nicole, uh, your turn. And Greg, go ahead. All right, Nicole, your mm -hmm. next word is repulsive. Adjective, arousing intense distaste or disgust repulsive okay i think i'm gonna need to see it in a scene please absolutely <laughs> is he that repulsive to you uh no his his russian expression of happiness poi 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 i'm so happy save it i'm on to you you are attracted to me oh flattering i don't do females 
<laughs> repulsive. Repulsive. That poor lady also. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. Great to jail. <laughs> Miss Madras. <laughs> okay. Repulsive. <laughs> R E P U L S I V E. Yes, correct. correct. All right. <laughs> I would love to see a sequel to this movie just of like her story getting out of prison and then like somehow revenge. like conning those two women like yeah. revenge of the maid. Uh, yeah. That would be really fun. I would enjoy that. Yeah, they should do way more like uh, instead of revivals, they should do that. Like pick one of the side characters. Mm -hmm. Oh, love it. So bring, I haven't like, we've been weird... doing that the whole time. That's like way more interesting. <laughs> Isn't that what like Reddit fan fiction for? Oh, so maybe I should hang out there more often. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't do it either, but I have a feeling yeah. I'm sure somebody was like, her story sitting in prison, like contemplating If you've the ever seen Lion King one and a half, that's what it is. It's the exact yes. same movie, but from Timon and Pumbaa's perspective. Yeah. And it's actually really good. Like, because it's the same move. Like you even hear the songs in the back, you know, it's like the same thing. So we could do that with Heartbreakers. We are all going to make this movie together, I guess. <laughs> I support that fully. I am down. Okay. <laughs> Revenge of the Maid. That's right. Exactly. Miss Madras. Uh, We're going to save Miss Madras. We're going to do yes. it. Okay, we we are. Are. We've got a working title. It's perfect. <laughs> it's great. Okay, Jess, uh, your word is environment. Oh, 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 I should probably say it correctly. Environmentalist, <laughs> a noun, a person who is concerned with or advocates the protection of the surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal, or plant lives or operates. Environmentalist. I would like to hear that in the scene. I actually don't remember it from the movie. Okay. What are you doing here? Working. Working? Are you some kind of wilderness female mud rustler? I'm an environmentalist studying the effect of waste runoff in the neighboring wetlands. Wow, environmentalists really dress hot. Yeah, well, there's no law that says you can't look good while you're saving stuff. Great. <laughs> um, okay, that was great. Um, environmentalist, <laughs> E-N-V-I-R-O, Environ, N, M-E-N-T-A-L-I-S-T, environmentalist. Correct. Oof. Right. Okay. Down to the last word of round one for you. Elisa. Oh my gosh. And uh, All right. I'm excited about this one. Greg, go ahead. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Your word is unintelligible. Adjective. Impossible to understand. Unintelligible. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> unintelligible. <laughs> Can I have it in a scene, please? Sure. Absolutely. This is horrible. And to think I was going to ask you to marry me. Marry you? Yes, yes. I purchased a ring and everything, but, but with your leaving. I am but ignorant, unintelligible foreigner. But if you marry me, I believe that puts kibosh on deportation. <laughs> really? Oh, Olga, will you? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> marry me marry you is the legal question yes I will is binding answer <laughs> scene scene okay well first of all the accent and the cough were both <laughs> impeccable on that um, I hope I can live up to it with my spelling so unintelligible u-n-i-n-t E L L I G I B L E. Yes, correct. Correct. We had a perfect first round. No one got anything wrong. That is amazing. That is phenomenal. We while. Sigoni Weaver would have been proud, or <laughs> would be proud. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, it's time for round two. And unfortunately, the, the acting portion of this evening has come to an end. And round two is our fastest finger round. Uh, Greg and I will take turns giving you a word. Uh, you will raise your hand uh, to ring in, if you will. Uh, we'll call on you. If you get it right, you get three points. If you get it wrong, you lose a point. 
if someone gets it wrong and you ring in next to spell it and you get it right, you will get six points. So yes, yeah, so it's a little higher stakes, a little more exciting and a little bit faster. So is everyone ready for round two to begin? Do we raise our hands or do we click raise hand? Uh, raise, raise your hand. We tried the clicking and the thing is they all show up at the same time. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, I couldn't remember from last time. Okay. The first, the first time we, we cause we're like, oh, this is so cool. Cause there's like the hand right here. So actually I should say three out of the four, they all showed up at the same time. And there was a fourth person being like, I can't find it. I can't find it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so we realized this, <laughs> this works better. <laughs> Uh, okay, Greg, why don't you do the first uh, word of round two, which is actually two words. Okay, first word is flopper diver. Flopper diver. Mandy. <laughs> Mandy. I wish I hadn't been so fast with the hands. <laughs> you got this. Because I can't remember if it's hyphenated or not. Um, but I'm going to go with F-L-O-P-P-E-R. <laughs> hyphen d-i-v-e-r it's there there's no hyphen but we're gonna give it to you anyway because you spelled the word right <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll we'll let that one we'll, yeah. we'll allow that we'll i mean it could that. be it could be hyphenated i mean it's not but you know <laughs> i i mean hyphenated. we haven't seen the actual script yeah that's eager. true i was too eager i'm sorry it's my first time <laughs> no, it was good. and uh so this one this next one is is very uh, close to my heart. It is three <laughs> words. Personal fire device. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm, um, P E R S O N A L space F I R E space D E V I C E. Correct. Actually, that okay. was hyphenated. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. The next word is. Babushka. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try it. Okay. Remember, you can steal in this round. Yeah, you might steal from me. Okay, B A B U S K A. Uh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Alicia. B A B U S H K A. Yes, correct. Correct. Point. All right. Next, steak tartare. Mandy. S T E A K space T A R T A R E. Yes, correct. Correct. <laughs> okay, the next <laughs> word. <laughs> <sighs> One one second, please. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, hold on. <clears throat> Penally impaled. <laughs> Nicole. Nicole. Try it. Okay. P E N I L Y space. I M P A L E D. Sorry, that's incorrect. Oh. Someone want to steal? Shocking. Mandy, would you like to steal penally impaled? <laughs> I would love to steal penally impaled. <clears throat> P E N I L E Y space I M P A L E D. Sorry, that's not correct. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Oh, Jess is giving yes. it a shot. <laughs> I, this is, I'm going to try it. P-E-N-A-L-L-Y space penally impaled. I-M-P-A-L-E-D. Yes, that is correct. Correct. Nice. Congratulations. You should get a certificate knowing your confidence in spelling penally impaled. Yeah. Something you should be proud of. My, actually, my favorite thing is, is oh every game when we have one word in round two that everyone takes a shot at and everyone gets wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think my confidence came came in clutch after two people got it wrong. <laughs> so I wouldn't have started <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would have spelled that wrong completely if it was, yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. So this next word is not a uh, 
proper word, I will say. Let's just say it's an it's an Olga word from the movie. So the word is inconceivablish. Inconceivablish. I N C O N C E. Uh, <laughs> inconceive V A B L I S H. Yes, that is correct. Correct. Shit. We're Shout out to made up words. Nonsense. Yep. No. <laughs> I like okay. nonsense. Greg, I'm so sorry you keep ending up with these words. <laughs> I know. I mean, like, you don't want to have anything penally impaled with the next word. Um, big Russian, Rus big Russian sausage. <laughs> Alicia. Uh, B I G space R U S S I A N space S A U S A G E. Correct. Correct. Have you used that in your romance writing? I haven't yet, but I will now. <laughs> Fantastic. I look forward to that one. I had forgotten. I remembered that the waiter had talked to her, had spoken to her in Russian and, you know, and yeah. she gave him money to make him go away. But I couldn't remember what he had said to her. And I forgot that he was like, can I take leave with my big Russian <laughs> And she's like, duh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I, okay. This next one is a real word, but it's harder. It is a globular cluster. Mandy. Globular cluster. I feel like I'm just too quick with the hand raise. I'm too confident there. And then it like, it goes, okay, globular cluster. G-L-O-B-U-L-A-R space C-L-U-S-T-E-R. Correct. Yay! Take that fifth grade school wide spell <laughs> me when I lost on the word pleasant in front of the entire elementary school. <laughs> uh, Everyone remembers the word that they lost on. I lost on the word criticism. Uh, that's a hard one. Yeah, I forgot that the uh, the third I, which like haunts me to this day. Um, oh yeah. Okay, Greg, go ahead. Okay, the next word is two words: crab nebula. Nicole. Why not? Okay. C R A. Wait, did you say crab nebula? <laughs> <laughs> crab nebula, yes. Okay. C R A B face N E B U L A. Correct. Okay. Yay. Maybe. Okay. That's good. No crab. All right. And uh, let's see. One more astronomy related one with Corona Borealis. Mandy. C-O-R-O-N-A space B-O-R-E-A-L-I-S. Correct. Correct. We should have oh, given bonus right. points if you knew what the, what? Uh-oh. Uh, okay, well, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is I'll, I'll to preface it it is not a it is a movie word non-actual word that's regularly commonly used or i don't think in the webster's dictionary i don't think this so. following word is peepee -pee ska <laughs> and actually we probably should have used this one in context he has no yeah. baby Scott. Baby Scott. Yeah, the statue, she's moving it through the hallway and they bang off the pipishka. My beautiful man, he has no pipishka. No pipishka. <laughs> he is ruined. <laughs> I don't, I have no idea, but I'll go. Um, okay. Pipishka. P-E-P-E-S-K-A. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was it. I was like, wait, <laughs> you did it so quickly. You did it so quickly and urgently. I know, I was I mean, like, can I get a... fast. I had to process it. <laughs> Me too. I was like, did she do the, the four E's? Yeah. 
So I thought, um, I, like, I thought it was so off that you both were like, what the <laughs> did she just spell? <laughs> Actually, it's silent X J E I E I S S K H A S S A. Obviously, how could I get that wrong? <laughs> Obviously. Hello. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So we have time for three more words in this round. Um, I want to do one, and Greg, you can do the last two, whichever ones you want. Um, so this okay. one is four words. Um, delayed shooting head pains. <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> um, delayed shooting head pains. Okay. D e l a y e d space s h o o t i n g space h e a d space p a i n s. Yes, correct. Today. That's I like when she uh when she crashes into him she's telling him that she'll take him to the hospital and she hits him in the head and she's like <laughs> see delayed shooting head pain I take you to hospital <laughs> <laughs> okay so the next word or it's actually multiple words um you would want a big Russian sausage or pipiska there in your word which is Menage a sink. Oh, Mandy. <laughs> yeah, she got excited for that one. She's like, Ooh. She's like, I know this. <laughs> well familiar. Um, <laughs> Menage a sink. M-E-N-A-G-E space A with, I've had a couple drinks. So um, A with an accent. <laughs> C-I-N-Q. <laughs> Yeah. Correct. Nice. Is that hyphenated or not? It's not <laughs> here, but is it in general? It, it was no, no. It not. is not in general. <laughs> I wasn't sure. It seems like it could be go either way, so I was not sure if it actually well, in, did have. In the dictionary, it was not hyphenated. Because I didn't think it was for sure. Shockingly. Menage a stink really was, or just menage a trois, and you can just add any number you want afterwards. No, I, I looked it up because I thought I was going to have to sort of figure out how to spell it on my own because <laughs> of that scene in the yeah. movie. And uh, when she's, and she's like, Menage, try menage a stink. And so I, I Googled it and I'm like, oh, it is in the dictionary. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder how high it goes up. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Menage a de sweet. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Um, yeah, no, that's interesting. And they say it twice, don't they? Because when he's on his um, telescope, doesn't he look at the boat? Or does he say Menage a sink or does he do like a group thing? I'm trying to he, remember no, the he, exact he line. Goes, he goes, what is that, like eight people? Or something? Oh, yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. So he doesn't. So I liked how they tied that together. Okay, wait, we have time for one more, I guess. Yes, um, yes. Okay, um, well, this one, just bring it on home with rigor mortis. Alicia. Uh, rigor mortis, R-I-G-O-R-M-O-R-T-I-S, or space Correct. after the R before the M. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> okay, all right, so I'm going to add up scores to see who's going to round three. Um, Did I win? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, and while she's adding up scores, your favorite moment from the movie. Yeah, start with Jess. Uh, my favorite moment from the movie, it's probably the the like meet cute between um, Jennifer Love Hewitt and Jason Lee because it's just funny. And I have to admit that I am not a con artist but that's not what I'm admitting. I think everybody knows that. Um, I feel like I've interacted with men like that in bars like quite a bit, like pre, uh, pre-pandemic, pre obviously. So I just like to see women be mean to men. So I appreciated that one. <laughs> also, shout out to Kia Brown because I know that she's watching right now. And I just want to say hi to her. <laughs> Kia Brown. Yes, if you don't know Kia Brown, pick up her book, The Pretty Ones. Great book. It's her memoir. And um she also has a children's book coming out next year, and she often plays the spelling bee, and she's won before, and also co yes, she has. And I'm sure she'll be back before long. Hi, Kia. <laughs> Kia, I will order your children's book for my children's library. Yay, that's so exciting. Okay, and um, Mandy, what is your favorite uh, scene in the movie? Oh, it's when they're on the boat at the end, and Ray Liotta goes like, look at all these fish, and then takes his handgun out. And he's <laughs> <laughs> 
such a good moment. <laughs> oh my All right. God. Okay. Uh, uh, Alicia, next, your favorite moment. Uh, well, I will say when I first saw this movie 20 years ago, it was any moment with Jason Lee because I had the biggest crush on Jason Lee because <laughs> somehow the dirtbag he played in Mall Rats, like did it for me. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. But now, we already talked about it, but the scene where Sigourney Weaver is just saying da over and over and over, I yeah. just think she deserves like every award for that scene. The way she <laughs> says it is like so funny to me. The way she's just like, da, da. <laughs> so good. And the fact that she does have like Back to U.S. guitar memorized as yeah. that song. I mean, like. That's what I said. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh I my mean, God, she knows every word in Back to the U.S. song. <laughs> <laughs> like I may have been able to whip out the chorus back in the day, but yeah. not the whole back to Miami, <laughs> like the whole thing from the beginning. But the band knowing it too, just the whole group, Incredible. they all bonded together just to, <laughs> I mean, way to come back. I mean, props <laughs> to her. And Nicole, take us home with your five favorite moment. Um, I'm, the first one that popped in my head when you asked was the, when she's out on the balcony with Gene Hackman's body and she <laughs> drops it and it just makes that terrible thud sound. Cause you think like, maybe he's not dead or whatever. You're like, oh shit, no, he's dead, dead. There's oh yeah. No coming back. <laughs> to be fair, that's the one thing. And I told this to Danielle, I was like, they're worried about the body when he like fell in the hotel room, but they, they never discuss what happened to him after falling out. How of, like, much damage? Story. Like, they're just sitting there going, oh, we have to make it look natural. It's like, the dude fell, like, 30 feet. He's Nothing like, natural is, like, happening. body. Like, that is... Yeah. <laughs> well, this was pretty uh, CSI Miami, right? So they didn't know. They didn't know. They didn't know. know. No. It's true. <laughs> and Ray Liotta really knew what to do with that body. Yeah. It was impressive. <laughs> right. and they pointed out, so, you know. He just whipped out his embalming kit and probably just like did some makeup and like I feel like that's believable for Ray Liotta in real life. Like I just feel like that would like I would expect that from him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I totally yes. Like you have to know what to do in this situation, Ray. Yeah. Yeah. And to be fair, like I give credit to Jason Lee. Ray Liotta's not a bad dude in the movie. To like to be honest. He actually was patient with Sigourney Weaver. He didn't push the like the the sex stuff. He didn't try to do anything when she was asleep. He just kind of was just like, this sucks. And it was his wedding night and he gave himself frostbite. So like props to him. If you're gonna be like a badass tough guy, be like Ray Liotta in Heartbreakers. Yeah. <laughs> you did both. <laughs> so much about, about Jason Lee and Jennifer Love Hewitt's relationship. He cared so deeply. And he did. Really. Like there, he was like he was a really like tough, nice badass, and props yeah. to him. More men like him. We need we need some fan fiction on like what happened with him and Sigourney Weaver in their like duo like coupled con life too. There's so many opportunities. Just give it a TV show. Here we go. <laughs> give it a TV show. Like, are you writing Heartbreakers fan fiction and doing to go find it? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I have so to now. Been. Like, I can take a break from kids' book stuff and and switch over to uh, Heartbreakers fan fiction. It's perfect. Yeah, can you like make sure that Danielle like sends my contact info to you? I'd like to read that, please. Thank you. <laughs> I I will have that ready for I you. Got some extra time on my hands. <laughs> I will connect you too. Um, yes, I. The, it's funny. I have so many favorite moments. It's so. It's. I don't know. I, I guess a lot of mine are, are the mother daughter moments between them too, mm -hmm. um, where they're just so, they're so at each other, but they like, she really does love her daughter and just like wants to protect her because, you know, um, and then I think, I don't know, one of my favorite moments, I guess, is like when she realizes that she can have a healthy relationship with someone like mm -hmm. with Jason Lee, I think, because like, she is so mean to him in the beginning. And he still he like, you know, puts up with it. Well, he also gives it back to her at, you know, at a certain level, too. Um, but then does, you know, nice things for her. And she's just like so used to the con and uh, deception and all that, that she's like, this is just a guy. He just like says things that are true and honest and holy shit. And I don't know, like, it's just so nice to see her like go from hard, you know, almost like bitter cynical page when she's so young already. And uh, to be like, oh, wow. Like, he's like, it's not cause like she's hot cause she's so hot, but oh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but he just likes her cause <laughs> she's Paige. Although he thinks she's Jane. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. 
which I'm sure that conversation went really well afterwards. She's like, um, my name is Paige. <laughs> um, oh, and then um, A, Jennifer Love Hewitt, uh, kicking open a door is done perfection by her. Like that moment is brilliant. And um, shout out to the wardrobe stylist of that movie because a lot of those clothes really would hold up today. Yes. It works for that movie and it really does hold up today for, yeah, it, it holds up, so, yeah. Those are yeah. awesome. Like, um, Sigourney Weaver's outfits were incredible the whole way through. And like, Jennifer Love Hewitt's were more like one note where it was just like, boobs <laughs> up, like, short skirts, like, but it was perfect. Like, or I love that little strapless yeah. number she, when they did the flopper diver, when she was walking yeah. through the hotel. Um, oh, actually, no, I just remembered one of my favorite moments because it just feels very distinctly mother-daughter, which I, I know my mom has done this to me at some point. Um, when they're walking into the bank and she just goes, those shoes are all wrong for this. And like, it's just like a very tiny little moment. Like it's not even a full scene. And they're, cause they're just like walking. And then you like look at her shoes and you're like, oh, those shoes are kind of wrong for that outfit. <laughs> like her mom is right. <laughs> that's, that's definitely one of my favorite moments. Um, so we have a little bit of a tie uh, mm. situation. So um, Alicia, you have the most points and then Jess and Mandy are tied. Um, so I'm gonna give you two a word and whoever can spell it right first will go up against Alicia in round three. So are you ready to raise your hands? Okay, the, the words, two words are Vinny Stagliano, Mandy. <laughs> Oh God, I can't now remember if it's I, E, or Y. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with V, I, N, N, I, E, space, S, T, A, G, L, I, A, N, O. Vinny Stagliano, it was a one. Jess, Jess, do you wanna take a shot? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I was also thinking the same thing, but I just watched my cousin Vinny for the first time. So I'm going to go V-I-N-N-Y space. Yeah, first time. S-T-A-G-G-L-I-N-A-L-I-A-N-O. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Yep. Wow. Sorry, Mandy. I feel bad. I was wow. reading for you. I was reading for you. It's okay. It's friendship. Mandy and I are really, Mandy and I are good friends in real life, like off the internet, and so it's it's pretty tough to beat you out like this. Well, it's okay if I had to if it I had to lose to anybody. I'm glad. I was <laughs> hey, you guys. What about me? Oh yeah, you do. Know. <laughs> <I'm> still here. <laughs> we love this girl because she made a whole book about men to avoid. Yeah, I absolutely yeah. wrote down the title of your book, by the way. And um, Alicia, I've written down your name since I read a lot. I want to read these books. <laughs> so well, I need to read your book because yeah. I need to avoid more men. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just knows. Just knows. It basically saved me at Christmas time. It's like all I got, like several people in my life was Nicole's book. <laughs> Perfect. How great. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect gift. It's yeah. awesome. Alicia, since you got the most points, uh, you get to decide whether you want to go first or second in round three. Um, second? second? You always defer from watching football. I feel like that's <laughs> that's the rule. Defer. You always defer. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm, before I send you away, I'm just going to ask you to uh, turn your volume down. But before you go, I'll just go over the rules real quick for, for round three. Uh, so our final two, Jess and Alicia. Um, you're going to get uh, a slew of words from either Greg or I. Uh, there will be a minute on the clock counting down. So you're going to try to spell as many of these words uh, correctly as possible in one minute. You will get a point for every word that you spell correctly and uh, you can pass twice. So don't forget that. People should get tensed up and they forget that they can pass if they get stuck on something. Um, okay, so. Uh, Alicia, I will wave like this to bring you back um, after okay. this is done. So lower your volume. And um, Jess, uh, I will give you your words and uh, Greg will put a minute on his phone to count down. And he won't start it until after I give you the first word. Okay. So, and also don't forget if something sounds like a homonym to you, 
as long as you spell it correctly in one form, you'll get a point. So, okay, are you ready? I'm ready. And I've had one and a half Jennifer Love Hewitt martinis. So Yay. it should be good. Perfect. It should be great. <laughs> okay, here we go. Flu. F-L-U. In. I-N. From. F-R-O-M. Miami. M-I-A-M-I. Beach. B-E-A-C-H. Didn't. D-I-D-N apostrophe T. Get. G-E-T. Two. T-O. Bed. B-E-D. Last. L-A-S-T. Night. N-I-G-H-T. On. O-N. The. T-H-E. Way. W-A-Y. The. T-H-E. Paper. P-A-P-E-R. Bag. B-A-G. Was. W-A-S. On. O-N. My. M-Y. Knee. K-N-E-E. Man. A man. I. I. <laughs> had. H-A-D. A. A. Dreadful. Uh, Boom. So it's, the, uh, it's the lyrics to Back in the USSR. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I was catching that on as we were going. Beautiful. Um, um, Greg, you wanna, you can, you can pick up with where Jess left off with Alicia. Okay. Uh, so that we can get to like the rest of the song. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, okay. Uh, you can start with either Dreadful or Flight. I'm gonna start with Flight. Okay. Not to to get it going a little quicker yeah that's true dreadful yeah that's that's when we started with flu for jess <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's really okay. similar okay so we'll, we'll wave to bring alicia back <laughs> okay you're back okay she's back all right <laughs> okay um alicia um you're good with the rules you can pass twice uh one thing i think we said after we had you lower the volume um was uh if something sounds like a homonym to you just like the word blue for example just spell it correctly in in one form and you'll get points for it even if that wasn't the one we intended so okay. um and i will put a minute on my phone and greg will give you your words um and i will uh, start it after he gives you the first word. Okay. Okay. Whenever you two are ready. All right. Blight. F L I G H T. I'm. I apostrophe M. Back. B A C K. In. I N. The. T H E. U S S R. U S S R. U. Y O U. Don't. D O N apostrophe T. No. K N O W. How? H O W. Lucky. L U C K Y. U. Y O U. R. A R E. Boy. B O Y. Back. B A C K. In. I N. The. T H E. U S S R. U S S R. <laughs> Bin. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bin. Uh, B I N. Away. A W A Y. So. S O. Long. Time. L O N G. Okay. okay. That was good. Obviously, you since you were at that part of the song, you know what you were spelling out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Back in U.S. Um. Yeah. And then um. I yeah. I, I think it's a pronunciation thing, and without context of like been been like away. been been away. Yeah. So yeah. yeah you, uh, I mean, I, I think we can allow it because I say it like Ben. Yeah. But then like, do people like, how else do people say it? I don't know. Do you say Ben or Ben? Like, I say Ben, I think I say Ben or Ben kind of depending, but if I just said, yeah. if I just said it, yeah. if I just was reading on a page, I think I would say Bean, honestly, like in my head, so. Yeah, yeah you would think, but it's like in a way. <laughs> it's a bad so word. <laughs> it's a bad word. <laughs> It really is a very strange word because it's like been away so long is how you say it, but then it sounds like bin, B-I-N. So, yeah. And as she's tallying that up, the rest of the words are been away so long, I hardly knew the place. Gee, it's good to be back home. Leave it till tomorrow to unpack my case. Honey, disconnect the phone. And that was not on rhythm to avoid copyright issues. 
It's a good excuse. And I love that you're all muted for that moment. So it's just like reacting laughter and then silence. <laughs> Which made it even more priceless. <laughs> Greg and I watched the movie together last week and we were like, how do we incorporate back in the USSR? Because we yeah. have to put it like, I guess we we're like, oh, I guess we'll just talk about it. Then I'm like, no, we're going to make a lightning round. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and uh, we have a winner. And uh, Jess Thulmer, congratulations. You have won tonight's yeah. Adult Spelling Bee Heartbreakers edition. And Alicia, you were very close behind. Today was really close all around. Yeah. Um, so yay. So I can't wait to make a donation in your honor tomorrow. Thank you um, so much. This is super fun. This is so exciting. Um, I'm like, I'm just always happy to meet people who like this movie that day. Like Alicia, I'm so glad I know who you are now because of that day that Nicole was like, oh wait, Danielle loves this movie too. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know anyone I randomly... who talks about it as much as Danielle. <laughs> so glad I randomly tweeted about it. Yeah. That's right. I had to send that photo of them pulling up in the convertible like, yes, can I help? <laughs> <laughs> you rang. <laughs> <laughs> um, but before, oh, now you're in the hotel lobby. Good job, Greg. Um, before we say uh, good night, uh, we should tell everyone where they can um, find our work and find our stuff or follow us on social media. If they want, yes, that's the picture. That's the one I love. Um, we'll start with our winner tonight, Jess. Um, our, I know you're uh, mostly on Instagram. Um, is that where you'd like people to? Yeah. Thanks, Danielle. Um, I am, I'm Thalms. That's, um, we're, um, a spelling bee right now. So I'll spell it. It is T H O L M as in Mary Z. Um, and I'm Thalms everywhere. So you can follow me on Twitter at Thalms. Um, but I'm like really flaky with it now, which is just, honestly, I feel proud to say that out loud because it <laughs> seems to be like where I smell all of my time. Um, but yeah. And the question that Danielle referenced earlier is that like Tuesday, I just like, is the worst day of the week to me. And it has been my whole life. So like, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, I started to like ask a question on Tuesday morning and some people like really enjoy participating. So it started with like worst celebrity couple um, and not in a toxic way, but just like, why are you, why are you guys dating a lot of like Zoe Dish on the property brother? Anyway, so every Tuesday morning now I have like a question like that and it's been super fun. Um, and then my book uh, newsletter is thalms.substack.com. I read a shit ton of books and i um, very happy to be here with fellow readers and writers and we'll be uh, purchasing some books that I'll write about in my newsletter. How fun was that? And um, and yeah, so that's where you can find me. And you can absolutely follow me on Instagram and I do a bunch of other stuff with nonprofit work. So um, if you do follow me on um, any social media platform, be, f be warned that I am sometimes asking for money and oftentimes like projecting my really strong and annoying opinions on everybody. <laughs> so I'm a, a fun follow. Yeah. Very opinions, very yeah. smart, well-informed, necessary opinions that a lot of people should be hearing. So, Thank you. I appreciate that. I apologize for that. Thank um, you. And Alicia, our runner up, our writer of romance, where can everyone find you and read your stuff and, and support you and all that good stuff? Um, I'm on Twitter at Alicia Books, so A-L-I-C-I-A Books, B-O-O-K-S, and I'm also on Instagram there too, but I don't use that quite as much, so Twitter's the best way to get in touch with me. Cool. And Mandy, our resident librarian, who, Mandy, you'll have to come back and play with Jess again. We'll have to pick a theme together because <laughs> you two were tied. That's, I don't know that that's happened before. Um, we've had a tie at the end end, but I don't think we've ever had a tie after round two going into round three so we'll have to we'll have to have a little bit of a rematch we'll pick a theme together I would love that I had so much fun <laughs> this is so much fun thank you for having me anytime yes um my social media my twitter is deactivated right now I will just what did you do <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to quietly leave the internet I was the twitter character of the day <laughs> <laughs> I just periodically will, with no warning, deactivate my social media, and then I just, I just come back. Yeah. Um, but my Twitter, maybe I'll reactivate it tonight. Um, my Twitter is just at Mandy Harris, so M A N D I H A R R A S. Um, on Twitter, it's just my at my full name, which isn't as good as my Instagram handle is 
at Mandy Patinkin, like the actor. <laughs> yes, Only Mandy instead Patinkin. of M A N D Y, it's at Mandy Mandy Patinkin, but M A N D I. And sometimes I get tagged and stuff that's meant for Mandy Patinkin, <laughs> and it's really it's really great, and I love that. It brings us. He doesn't know who I am. But. My mom double checked Mandy that uh, it was just Mandy's birthday the other day. My mom double checked when she was sending you a birthday card that your last name was Harris and not Patinkin. <laughs> like, that's, just a, that's just like a joke, right? And I was like, yeah, good to double check. But yes, that's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's good. He's you not my stuff off Instagram. It comes addressed to Mandy Patinkin. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's. That's for, I'm going to have to say, now I want to send you something addressed to Mandy Patinkin. <laughs> yeah, that's. No, we also, you have to meet Mandy Patinkin, Mandy with a I know, we got to make it, we got to make, make this happen. happen. If he weren't so happily married, <laughs> I had this dream that we would get married and we would be Mandy and Mandy Patinkin. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy. Mr. and Mrs. Mandy and Mandy Patinkin. The Mandy's Patinkin. The Mandy, like Attorney General, we would be the Mandy's Patinkin. <laughs> well, maybe if you name a dog after him, like uh, Lorelai Gilmore did with Paul Inca, and you just oh, name the dog Mandy Patinkin, then maybe he, like, and then make that dog go viral, and mm -hmm. um, and then he'll come a-running. <laughs> well, that's perfect, because I was named after the Barry Manilow song, Mandy, which is apparently, he wrote it about a dog. <laughs> So I should get a dog and name it Mandy. <laughs> so there you go. The Mandy Patinkin is your is your dog, and that'll that'll be your pathway to the real Mandy Patinkin, or at least a very bizarre dream like dream where he's sitting on your lap. Oh my god! <laughs> if you know the Gilmore Girls, you'll know what I'm referencing right there. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> dog or human? <laughs> dog or human? <laughs> yeah, human man here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and, uh, Nicole, where can everyone uh, purchase your book and also read any of your other writing and all that cool stuff? You can purchase the book anywhere, I pretty much. Um, I like Bookshop because it supports indie bookstores. So it's a good way to bookshop.org, I think. Um, it's called Men to Avoid in Art and Life. Um, Men to Avoid .com is the website for it. I am always online. <laughs> <laughs> 24 hours a day you can find me at uh on twitter at nixini n-i-c-s-i-g-n-i -I -I, and on instagram at nixini underscore rights so. and greg my illustrious co-host and fellow heartbreakers aficionado um a children's book author so although uh, tonight the words that you asked everyone to spell were not in your children's books <laughs> I mean, Pipishka could probably somehow find a way in there um, for like a potty training book, but that isn't my genre. Um, but yeah, so uh, you can find me primarily on Instagram at the McGoonies. Um, so McGoonies, like my last name with an I-E-S, so embracing the last name. Um, I don't use Twitter, but I do have one, which is also at the McGoonies, but Twitter gives me anxiety, so I avoid it um and like Facebook the Magoonies or just my last name is really easy to find um so <laughs> I'm there my books are available where books are sold except for my Oliver book which is like hardcover only through Barnes and Noble so otherwise it's available in paperback um the rest of the books hardcover everywhere cool. and yeah and then I do a bunch of other little things so follow along Instagram for children's book recommendations little writing blurbs or just stuff about my dog yes we love Oliver Oliver so cute um, yeah, I'm sorry that Brandy didn't make an appearance uh, tonight. Last week, she just like busted in and like jumped on the bed and was like, hello. <laughs> yeah. my friend. Um, but we had a cameo from Fran tonight, which was fun. Because um, now we are both fully vaccinated, so we can interact, which is very exciting. Um, which is why I'm in my robe today, because I got my second one today. And I'm, I'm a little, little fatigued, not going to lie. Um, and thank you everyone for playing. You are all so good. And uh, thank you for talking about one of my favorite movies. Happy anniversary to Heartbreakers. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Um, we're going to take like a two week hiatus because uh, I have to work next Sunday and then also then it's Easter. So we'll be back in April with some really fun themes. We're gonna do boy bands. We're gonna do uh, middle school trauma. 
we're gonna do like <laughs> lots of other random fun things also it's it's time to get back to some teen drama so we need some like one tree hill or dawson's creek or, oh one tree hill yeah, something like that or we're pretty little go. liars because they're doing a reboot of pretty little liars as <laughs> yes. well so um, all of those things will be coming and uh, we yeah. also always take suggestions for themes if anyone mm. has a suggestion and wants to play it send me an email um we've done that before so um, I feel like there's only one way to end this tonight, and that is with a little. I am just going. Uh, I am so full of uh, good humor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... uh, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Doing from. And she sings in the accent. I know. I'm back in the USSR. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.